Hey, Neil Smith here with U.S. Captain's Training. Hope you are doing well. This is practice problem one, great circle sailing, and we are solving for initial course and distance. Let's jump right into it. Great circle distance and initial course practice problem one. Let's get into this problem. Problem one. First thing we're going to do is record our the information given in the problem. And it's just two sets. It's lat one, long one, lat two, long two. So lat one equals 35.17.6. 35 degrees 17.6 minutes north and I leave a space here because we are going to have to convert all of these to only degrees so longitude 1 144 and 23 144 degrees 23 minutes east and then lat 2 is equal to 47.36 north, 47 degrees, 36 minutes north, and longitude 2 is equal to 124.22. 124 degrees, 22 minutes west. So during these problems, we can't have minutes anywhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is just convert all of these to degrees only. If you divide the minutes by 60, you get degrees. So bring out the calculator. You're going to need it for these problems. So we get 35.17.6 divided by 60. 17.6 divided by 60 equals 0.29. So 35.29 degrees north. That's our lat 1. And we just keep going like this. So divided by 60 equals 144 point, whatever this is, 23 divided by 60 equals 0 0.38, 0 0.38 degrees east. We keep going, lat 2, 36 divided by 60 equals 47 degrees, whoops, 47 point, this answer, 36 divided by 60 equals 0 0.6, 0 0.6 degrees north. And now divide this 22 by 60, and you'll get 124 point and 22 divided by 60 equals 0.37. I take these to two decimal places. I've seen them taken to three, but from my experience, the answers are coming out about the same. Very close. Okay, so here's all of lat one long one, lat two long two, all converted into only degrees. Now, the next thing we need to do is find the difference in longitudes, which is called D low. So we need to find D low. And we just, D low is equal to long one minus long two. This is, take your time with this. It seems like simple subtraction, but it's it's actually, it gets pretty conceptual. So longitude one is this, 144.38, 144.38 degrees east. And longitude two is 124.37 west, 124.37 degrees west. We really can't just do a subtraction. We come up with like 20 degrees, but that's not right. So what you have to do here is add these together and subtract them from 360 to get the difference. Let's take a look at a small explanation here. So here's zero, right? And we're starting at 144 east. If we go east, we're going east. We get to 100. That skips us to here. So now we're 120, 140. So we're, we're right here, right? We're about 140 east and we traveled to 124 west so we're 140 160 180 
160, 140, 120. So we're about right here, right? So we actually went from 140 east all the way to 120 west. We went east and we went about this far. And if you count, it's like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, approximately 100 towards the east. So let's just, we know we went to the east. We're going to name this thing east. And here we go. We're going to add these together, subtract them from 360 to get to get our difference. 144.38 plus 124.37 equals minus 360 equals 91.25. Nine, let's bring it down here. Get some space. 91.25 degrees east. That is our D low. D low equals 91.25 east. Good. Now we need to throw this into a formula to find distance. So we are going to find distance. And I'm going to refer to distance with the letter D. So here is the formula to find distance. Cosine distance equals cosine, cosine lat 1 times cosine lat 2 times cosine d low plus or minus sine lat 1 times sine lat 2. I know that's a lot, but it's just a bunch of calculator stuff. So if we start plugging these in, so cosine distance equals, we start plugging these in, cosine lat 1. So cosine lat 1 is here. Lat 1 is 35.29. 35.29 times the cosine of lat 2, which is here. 47.6, 47.6 times the cosine of D low, which we found 91.25. And then this plus or minus, this is where if you cross the equator, it is minus. If you do not cross the equator, it is plus. And you see our, and we're referring to latitude equators. So lat one and lat two, same names. They're both north, so we add. Okay, and then we go and say sine lat 1, 35.29, sine 35.29 times the sine of lat 2, 47.6. And now we just start crunching these numbers. So... You got to keep the sign straight and then keep all your number crunching straight is the hard part. And so what I'm going to do is because of all of these cosines, they all have parentheses. You start with a parenthesis. Say open this parenthesis. Cosine 35.29. Cosine 35.29 close times cosine 47.6 close times cosine 91.25 close and then close out total equals negative 0.012 so negative 0.012 and then there's like 01 cool and so now we add that to this side so let's figure out what number this side is so we say, we'll open the parentheses and say, sine 35.29, 35.29 times, whoops, okay, let's, so open, sine 35.29, close, times, sine 47.6, 47.6, close, close, equals 42662. 0 0.42662 and we now we just do this subtraction 
right? And so this number, this is negative. So we just subtract this number from this number minus 0 0.01201 0 equals 0 0.41461. 0.41461. Okay, so if we look here, we say cosine of the distance equals this. So we need to get the cosine on the other side and just get distance. Distance equals cosine, inverse cosine of 0 0.41461. And this will give us our distance in degrees. So second, inverse cosine of 0 0.41461 equals 65.5. So the distance is equal to 65.5 degrees. Now we need to get it into miles because in our answer, it's miles. So we're in degrees. We need to get to miles. You times by 60 miles per one degree. The degrees cancel, you're left with miles. So 65.5 times 60 equals 3930.3. So distance equals 39, 3930.3. 39.30.3 miles. Okay. Excellent. This will be one of the answers. And interestingly enough, if you look at this, look at this. We could pick the right answer right now. But they want us to find initial course too. And this number is involved in finding the initial course. So let's just go ahead and keep going on initial course. So we're going to say the here's the formula for initial course. Cosine of initial course, that's IC, I'm using the abbreviation initial course, equals sine lat 2 minus cosine distance in degrees times sine lat 1. All this is divided by sine distance times cosine lat 1. And now we need to plug these numbers and plug and chug. So sine lat 1, this is, this is interesting here. If you cross the equator, then this is negative. But we did not cross the equator, so it's positive. That was one of the things that took me a while to keep straight. So here we go sine lat 2 and it's positive so we got sine lat 2 47.6 47.6 minus cosine distance cosine and remember the distance although it seems weird this is the distance if you use this you're going to get wrong distance 65.5 65.5 degrees times the sine of lat 1 again lat 1 35.29, 35.29, and then all of this is over sine distance, sine distance, which is 65.5 times the cosine of lat 1, which is 35.29. Okay, now let's crunch these numbers. So sine 47.6 sine 47.6 equals 0 0.73846 0 0.73846 minus and we'll get this number so we're going to open the parentheses and say cosine 65.5 close times Sine 35.29, close, close, equals 0 0.23957. 0 
five, seven. And all of this is over this sign, this bottom part. So open these and say sign 65.5 close times cosine 35.29 close close equals point seven four two seven five zero point seven four two seven five and now we're going to simplify it a little bit further and we're going to say we're going to do this subtraction here so we say point seven three eight four six point seven three eight four six minus point two three nine five seven equals point so it's zero point four nine eight eight nine over zero point seven four two seven five okay we're getting there this number's already on our calculator and we're gonna divide that by point seven four two seven five seven four two seven five equals so here we are, it equals, and again, we're cosine initial course equals 0 0.67168. It rounds up. And so the way we get rid of this cosine is we take the inverse cosine. So initial course equals the inverse cosine of 0. 0.67168. What does this equal? Second inverse cosine 0.67168. If anyone wondering what that noise is, it's my fridge. I don't know why it does that. Equals 47.8. This is in quadrantal notation. 47.8 and now it's named in the front it's named north or south based on lat 1 lat 1 is named north this is north and it is named east or west based on d low d low is east and so if we if we graph this out Okay, right? We're north, south, east, west. If we graph this out, we're north, and then we're 47 from north to the east. This is our, this is where we are. So this happens to be when we're in this northeast and we're less than 90, this quadrantal notation is same as true. So we are from north, we are indeed 47.8. Eight degrees true this is our initial course so we have our initial course 47.8 and our distance 39 30.3 and we come up here and check it out we did get the right answer we got 39 31 miles and 48 true none of these are really close we could have just picked it out with the miles but we went on and did the whole problem Thank <laughs> you.